Hey guys, um, I know it's been a really long time since I've made a video, but, um, stuff has happened. I am a senior in college, and I've tried to make, <clears throat> excuse me, I've tried to make a couple videos in the past because I got a new camera when I, before I went to Ireland, and, um, I just haven't taken the time to edit the video and upload it. So, um, but I wanted to make this video because I've been really, really dying to make a review of these books that I got. And it, funnily enough, has to do with me going to Dublin, or going to Ireland. Not just Dublin, it happened in Dublin, but it wasn't just Dublin. Um, so, I know that I'm supposed to be reviewing Star Wars books. But my interest has changed, even though I have a Star Wars shirt on. And... The Force Awakens comes out in 10 days. But this is not what I'm going to be talking about. What I am going to be talking about is Terry Pratchett's Discworld. Now there's a little bit of a story involving this book and its beautiful cover. And it involves when I went to Ireland. I have known my friend Chloe for 10 years. We met when I was 11. And she lives in Scotland and I've never met her before until this point. And I told her when we were going to be in Ireland and when we were going to be in Dublin. And she decided to meet us in Dublin. And she was only there for about a day and a half. Well, a night and a little bit. They left the next morning. They got there and they left the next morning. So a day. And when I was with her, we discovered this really, really, really nice bookstore. And we did like a little book exchange thing. And I bought her... A Dresden Files book, and she bought me The Color Magic. Ah, you set myself in the face. And she had told me about this a really long time ago. Like, when we originally had first met, um, we, we talked about Harry Potter all the time. That was, like, our bonding point. We role-played or whatever. And um, I asked her what her favorite non- Harry Potter book was, and she told me The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett, which is the book I'm holding in my hand. And I looked it up at the time, and I was like, oh, that sounds cool, whatever. I don't remember what I was thinking. I, it was ten years ago. And I never, like, went out and looked for it, because I had never heard of it before. And I read this book. Just, I read the first prologue, actually, and it was hilarious. <laughs> Basically, the Discworld, if you don't know, is literally a disc, a flat world, on the top, on the backs of four elephants, and they are standing on the back of a giant sea turtle named the Great Toon. <laughs> When, when you start out like that, you can't take it very seriously, I know. And you shouldn't because it's it's comedic fantasy. Um, so, story over. Basically, I'm going to do a review of the first three books. However, I'm going to go ahead and say that The Color of Magic and the sequel, The Light Fantastic, can be treated as, and kind of should be treated as, one book. Um, because it... The Light Fantastic picks up exactly where The Color of Magic leaves off. I love these books so much that I actually decided to write my senior thesis on it. And over the course of the next, oh, I don't know, four weeks, I have to read the rest of them, and I'm on book four. So, <laughs> that'll be fun. But, um, basically, to sum these up, The Color of Magic and The Light Fantastic are about a wizard named Rincewind, and he is a completely... <sighs> failure of a wizard. He only knows one spell that he can't do. So, um, there's this grimoire, basically, and the grimoire has eight magical spells. It, the, you know how, like, the seventh son of the seventh son, instead of that, in this world, the magical, spiritual, whatever, number is eight. So, Everything involves eight. There's eight colors, whatever. So one of the eight 
magical spells got stuck in Rincewind's head and is kind of just living there and prevents him from dying because when he, he would die, he has to say the spell. So, yeah. The first book is basically a collection of sort of short stories. It is The Color of Magic, which is the first short story. And then, I believe The Sending of the Eight is the second one, which involves kind of Cthulhu. And then there is The Lure of the Worm, which is the third. And let me find the fourth one. I don't know what it's called. Fourth one is Close to the Edge. So they're basically short stories involving Rincewind and a tourist to the Discworld named Two Flower. To Discworld's very first tourist. And the luggage, which is seen on the front of the cover. However, the Light Fantastic picks up exactly where the color of magic ends. And instead of being a short story collection split up in chapters thing, um it's just one continuous story. Jumps around a little bit. There's asterisks instead of chapters now. But still, it's one continuous story compared to the disjointed, I suppose, stories that we get in the first book. Um, one thing that you have to keep in mind when you read these is that they are very much satirical. And they are parodies of other fictional worlds. Like I said, Cthulhu is involved in the color of magic, sort of. He's not mentioned by name, but, you know. Um, there are very many, very, very many laugh out loud moments in this, these two books. They're just great. Um, there's also a, a movie, BBC movie, based on it. I've only watched the first part, though, I think. I might have watched the second part. I don't remember. I don't know. I feel like we haven't, because I don't remember some of the characters. <laughs> so I feel like we haven't. Um, and that also is good, the first part that I watched. Anyways, it was pretty loyal, at least in my opinion. Um... Okay, on to book three, which is called Equal Rights. Equal Rights is not about Rincewind, but it is about a little girl who is eight years old named Esk. Eskarina Smith was supposed to be the eighth son of an eighth son, so a wizard came up to her father and was like, Hey, I want to bless your baby with my powers so he can be a wonderful wizard in the future, but before that wizard died, they did not check to see if the baby was a boy or a girl. The nanny knew, or the granny knew, and granny, Weatherwax, is a witch, and wizards cannot be female, and witches cannot be male. So you got a little eight-year-old girl who has wizard powers, but could not be a wizard by unseen university's rules. But she can be a witch. But wizards have a different kind of magic than witches. This book is very cute. I like it a lot. Um, I'm semi-obsessed with it, actually. I really look forward to reading the young adult novels by Terry Pratchett, which I also own. Which, don't get me started on my book haul that I need to do, but I haven't because there's 50 books that I need to go through, but shh. Um, the young adult books also involve Granny. These covers are great. They're not accurate in any manner, but they're great. And Esk apparently makes an appearance in these young adult novels. Novel. One of them. And... I'm just really excited to read the Tiffany Aching books because I think I just really like the idea of, I like, I like to ask, and this was like a first draft kind of version in my opinion of what 
more than likely Tiffany Aegean is going to be about. That's kind of my whole thesis statement of my thesis is the first three books were a rough draft of Terry Pratchett working out what he's going to do in the Discworld and then when you get to book four which is in my bed somewhere give me one moment you get the book four which is called Mort he gets more into the skin of the Discworld he develops it more and my whole thesis is about how the development of the Discworld went from satirical fantasy to humorous fantasy and what that means and how he went about it while developing his world. So, um, in the next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to do a lot of these videos. I'm sorry they were so short. I would write out a long sort of re like review thing, but honestly, I really don't have time. <laughs> Um, this week is dead week, which is the week before finals, last week of classes, and then next week is finals. And then after that, after that I'm working 30 hours and I have four days off. Woo. But, I'll let you guys go now. I just wanted to make this video and I'm so excited that I did, yay! Okay, I hope everyone has a good day. <laughs>